Hold on, gotta grab the remote real quick. Yo, Friday night, little Friday night stream for the gang. What's up? Little Friday nighter. How about a little Friday nighter, huh? Little Friday nighter. What is up, ladies and gents? Happy Friday night. Taking on the Texas A&M Aggies. Ah. Got to win two of our last five to make a bowl game. Two of our last five. We're four and three right now. A&M's four and three. We've got cold brewskis and the Beamer Ball koozie. You love to see that. You absolutely love to see that, folks. Love to see that. Absolutely love to see it. What's going on? Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. What's up? Happy Friday night. How about that? How about that little Friday night stream? I don't feel like we've done one of these yet. I don't know. Maybe we... No, I think this is the first Friday night stream we've done. It's going to be the only Friday night we do. So, how about it? Ooh, I'm fired up for this one. I got a. I'm fired up for this one. Got a chance to pull the old upset. Got a chance to pull the old upset. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man, for real. I know it's a Friday night. Y'all could be doing anything, whatever. Appreciate y'all hanging out with yours truly. And, uh, yeah. So. OVR said you're going to be at the game. How about it? Hey, man, would love to meet up. Hey, I'll tell you guys this. I will tell you guys this. I promise you. I promise you this. I am going to have an announcement out by Monday at the latest of our tailgate plans. As you guys know, I have the spot in Sea Wells. I, I've been trying to figure out this stuff with Jay's Corner. Do they want to do a live pregame show from their location? Do they not want to do a live pregame show from their location? I've been trying to figure that out. They are being... And it is what it is. Everybody's busy, but they're being very difficult to get in touch with. And which is fine, but we've got to make moves. My, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting a little antsy because I know you guys are waiting on details. A lot of people are waiting on details and I'm ready to get details out there. So I promise you all, I promise you all the details will be out by Monday at the latest. I'm not waiting beyond Monday. So uh, John Sorrell's T-S-U-S dot store. T-S-U-S dot store. If you go there and just click the hats tab on the side, you will see it. And I, might, I may actually, by the way, change the store up to where what it shows like on the homepage. Um, I probably will honestly do that to where it, uh, it shows like the top sold items. So it's going to show those hats first instead of showing the koozies first. But T-S-U-S dot store, John Sorrell's. T-S-U-S dot store. You go there. That's where all of our merch is. Just scroll through there. Spend about 10 minutes clicking around. I promise you'll find them. If you just go to hats, though, that's where they are. We've got these trucker hats. We've got dad hats as well. Really cool. All right. This game, South Carolina a and M. I saw Travi said all white stormtroopers. I like it. Y'all want to go stormtroopers? Um, what did we just wear last game? We played Vandy. So we wore what? White garnet white? I like Stormtroopers. I'm I'm down with it. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, let me think. The, the we beat Tennessee not wearing Stormtroopers, but I'm down. Y'all y'all down with Stormtroopers? I, I'm down with Stormtroopers, honestly. 
I mean, I don't know what else we would wear. I, I don't know. I'm uh, I don't know. I'm I'm not feeling like really anything else. I think. I don't know. I mean, white, white, black. See, the last time we wore white, white, black at A and M though, we lost. See, I'm superstitious with the unis. I've, I'm very superstitious with unis. I think Stormtroopers is the move, man, on a Friday night. I don't know. I think that's just the move. I don't know. Uh, Okay. We got the playbook. We're good. All right. Phil says Stormtroopers. John Kruger says Stormtroopers. We're going Stormtroopers. I got my cold brewski and my Beamer Ball. Welcome home, Koozie. We were just out, by the way, at the band field watching Brendan M., who I'm sure will tune in at some point. Brendan M., a member of the Big Cock Club. I wanted to go out there. I've never been out there, by the way. I had never been out there to the band field, caught some of the band. Dude, it's like, like, there are many things that are giving us signs that football is about to be back. Here, we'll go ahead and get this thing rolling, by the way. There are many things that are giving us signs that football is about to be back. Like, listening and hearing the band is one of those things that, like, sends chills through you. You know what I mean? Like, true chills. You're like, wow, college football is here, man. The sounds of college football, you know? I mean, it's just... It was awesome. So, definitely, dude, they're, they're out there like every day. I think he said 5 to 6.30. So, I might have to stop by there again, honestly. Honestly, that was that was really cool. That was really, really cool. I could get used to that. I could get very – see, that's not something I took advantage of when I first moved here. All right, we're good. We're rocking and we're rolling, folks. We're going Stormtroopers, guys. Unis, unis have been decided. Stormtroopers have been decided. Let's just go win a ball game now. Oh, a rain game. How about a rain game? How about a rain game, huh? You guys hear everything okay? See everything okay? We should be good to go. You guys are good to go. Hope y'all are having a fantastic Friday night. Again, appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Appreciate it, sincerely. Yeah, Brendan, I, there's Brendan. Brendan, I was looking for you. I, I couldn't identify you. There are a lot, There's a lot of y'all down there. I love... Uh, I don't know. I'll either have to get out there earlier next time or just yell your name. I don't know. Something. <laughs> I, Brendan, I'm, I'm probably going to come back out there, Brendan. Um, thir- well, Thursday. I'm thinking Thursday. Th- I'm, I'm thinking Thursday. Yeah. So, probably Thursday before before Carolina calls with Shane Beamer. I figure I'll stop by and um, just say what's up. I like to come out there, so. Okay, well, could let me see. I could slide out there Monday. Could slide out there Monday. Yeah, no, we'll figure. It out. I will definitely be out there next week, and I, I want to come out there like every week. I, I I just like going out there and just chilling for a bit. You know what I mean? It's nice. It's nice. It got really nice there at the end of the night too. Here we go. sit, dog nine. Isaiah Spiller. Yeah, what about him? He ain't no Kevin Harris, that's for sure. He ain't no Kevin Harris. Lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the Aggies know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. All right, we got to start it with the defense. as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, we got to start it with the defense. Let's go, D, in a rain game. Weird things may happen. Weird things can happen in a rain game. And we're already off to a bad start. All right. Yeah, you're going to have to stop that guy. Jennifer Wilson with the order. Was that... Uh, let me see. Was that... Uh, was Oh, that wasn't John Sorrell. I thought that was John Sorrell's earlier. Okay, well. Jennifer Wilson with the order. Thank you. All right, D, let's go. Let's go, babe. Let's go, defense. Somebody get him. Somebody for the love of God. Holy. Haynes King, who was named their starting quarterback, by the way. You have to scheme around him, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. What are y'all's plans for the weekend, by the way? I'll tell you my plan. My plan tomorrow I might wake up, go to the gym. I am chilling tomorrow, though, man. I, I am sitting on the couch, watching football. Going to probably grill. I got some burgers to grill. 
I'm having a relaxing day though, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna relax before the pandemonium really sets in this this next week. I mean, really, because we know it's going to right. I mean, I mean, I'm already feeling like next week's gonna be crazy. Next week's gonna be wild, and I can't wait for it. But it's gonna be wild, and and the rest, you know, the rest next like four months are gonna be wild. Get there, somebody get him. Let's go, let's go. He couldn't, he couldn't keep his balance. He couldn't keep his balance. Old Jordan Birch. Look at this, look at this. Uh, uh, fall down, fall down, fall down. Like a baby deer. Couldn't keep his balance. From the 43 yard line. Travi at the pool hanging with the fam. There you go. Hey, OVR, cutting the grass can be relaxing. Got to get there, somebody. Nope, 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 nope. Here we go. Here we go. Fourth. They're punting. Let's go. The defense making a stop. The defense making a stop. Let's go. Wow. The defense making a stop. Holy smokes. We're trying to make a bowl game, folks. We are trying to make a bowl game. I'll be damned. We are trying to make a bowl game. So let's see what the offense can do. Go. Somehow go. The battle of the running backs, Harris versus Spiller. Who will get the better of the two? Rel Garner, where can I find one of those big cock club hats? So, Rel, you have to join the big cock club first. Patreon.com slash big cock club. And the merchandise is behind there. That's exclusively for Big Cock Club members. So, yeah. Join the Big Cock Club, though. You can get one. No question. You can get one, for sure. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. That did not work. We're going to have to throw the ball to win this game. We're, we're, I mean, I think that's, a, that's an obvious statement, but we're going to have to throw the ball to win this game. Gonna have to throw the ball. Gonna have to throw it. And we're gonna have to throw it down the field. <laughs> we're gonna have to throw it down the field. <laughs> hey, Rel, also, by the way, I didn't mention this. Rel, when you join the Big Cock Club, you get access to a 20% off discount code forever. So, I mean, just from that perspective alone, I, I think joining the Big Cock Club is worth it if you like the merchandise. I mean, really, truly. So, so you can buy the big cock club with hat with a twenty percent off discount, which is a I mean that's a big chunk. It's a pretty big chunk. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. One brewski deleted. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. Keep it in front of you. Keep it in front of you. It's second down, seven to go. Anybody ever been to College Station? I've never been. I obviously won't be going this year because we're doing the watch parties with uh, with Carolina Alehouse. I would like to go one year. That's a hell of a road trip, though. And lately it's been like, that's a hell of a road trip to watch us get our ass kicked. I mean, I, honestly, like it's like, good God. I mean, I'm a fan. I'm a fan do or die. But, good God, I don't want to make that type of trip. We're going to get killed. There we go. Very nice. Luke RJ says, are you drinking tonight, Chris? I, I mean, I'm having a couple. I'm not drinking like crazy, though. I mean, just, just having a couple, relaxing at the house. Like I told you, man, it's a low-key weekend. It's a low-key weekend. Justin Langford, we went three and out. Second down. We went three and out, my friend. God, he's wide open. Just wide open. Can't happen. Cannot happen. Cannot happen. Oh, Trav, you live in OKC. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's a little bit closer for you. Dude. Dude, come on. I mean, just nobody covering him. There's nobody covering him. Ritter Nim, wish I had the chance to go with the band. Wasn't the cards. Let's come here for a fifth year. Yeah, I mean, you know. 
it'd be cool to go. I just, you know, I, I'd love to go in a year where I felt like we actually had a chance to win. <laughs> like, man, I mean, some of those games, I can't imagine going that far and watching us lose like in 19, like, thir what was it, 30 to 3? Like, I, I just can't fathom that. I mean, that just sounds, that sounds brutal. That sounds, I mean, like I said, I'm a fan either way, but man, that's a, that's a lot of money and time to spend to watch your team not even show up. So. Somebody get there. Somebody. There we go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, big third, big third. Just hold them to a field goal. Get there. There you go. Nice tackle. Nice tackle. Darius Rush with the tackle. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That a baby. Hey, that's a win. That's a win for the defense. Like we saw, hold them to field goals, you have a chance. You hold them to field goals, you have a chance. Just hold them to field goals, man. Hold them to field goals. That's okay. That's okay. Ryan Hobby, you're all good, my friend. The party don't start till you get here, Ryan. All good, my friend. All good. It's just three nothing. You haven't missed anything. Haven't missed a thing, my guy. Go. We haven't seen a return for a touchdown yet. Like, we haven't seen Beamer Ball really, like, explode yet. You know what I mean? Sit Dog 9, I'm sticking with five wins, but if we lose the ECU, it'll go to four. I mean, yeah, I, I think that's the only way... That's the only way, sit dog, that South Carolina falls below five wins in my mind is that they lose to East Carolina. I, I just – that's why I say it's so pivotal because I don't think you have a chance to make a bowl game if you lose to ECU. Like, what is that play call? What is that play call? I just – you know what I mean? That Like, that's – people people scoff at it and they're like, oh, my God, that's the most pivotal game. Yes, because if you lose that one, again, you don't have a chance to get to a bowl game if you lose that one. In my mind. In my – I mean – you're going to be hard pressed to go. You're going to be hard pressed to tell me the path to six wins if you lose to East Carolina. So, Travi, cheers, guys! Our last Saturday without some Gamecocks football. Actually, enjoying a cold brew right now as well. Hell, maybe we should move. Uh, maybe we should move one of the simulations to tomorrow. I don't know. You never know. I'll keep you on your toes. Let's go. There we go. A little downfield pass. A little downfield passing. A little downfield passing. Look at old EJ Jenkins getting open down the field. Ryan Hobby says, I think Spiller's a good running back. I think he's a little overrated considering the horses he has paving the way. It's just my opinion. Well, I mean, that matters, right? you got to have a good offensive line. I mean... You can't blame him for having a good O-line. Jesus, come on. Go go, go north and south, bro. Uh, OVR, have you heard anything about vaccination mandates or anything pertaining to the capacity next Saturday? No. I mean, South kind of just released something on social media about protocols for next weekend or the season or whatever. Uh, masks will not be required. They're encouraged by the school, but they're not required. So if they're... You know, if they were going to say something about vaccination mandates, I think they would have said it in that release. So, no, you're, we're good. We're full steam ahead, man, for the Shane train. Full steam ahead for the old Shane train. My brother. My brother is in here, though. My brother's in here. Come on, got to convert. Got to convert. Come on, find a way. Go downfield. You got plenty of time. Go downfield. Oh, he dropped it. God, he, dude, I'm like, if you catch it, you can go for it. <sighs> Dang. Ugh. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. It is crazy to think, like, how long we've been waiting for football. Like, it, like because of... <laughs> Because of last season, like, being weird the way it was, it almost feels like we've been waiting for Carolina football 
for like two years. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I, I don't know. Like, we obviously had football last year, but it was just different. Like, it was different. It really was. Let's go. The D line getting in his face. But, yeah, man, last year was just different. Like, it just, you know, and I went to a couple games, and it still just, it felt strange. You know what I mean? It really felt strange. So, I don't know, man. It feels like we've been waiting for football forever. Get there. Let's go! Let's go! Jordan, dude, Jordan Birch is an animal in this game. Jordan Birch is a freaking, look at this. Boom! Get off me! Bro, Jordan Birch is a monster in this game. Dude, he has like 11 sacks already. <laughs> he has like 11 sacks. I mean... Gamecock fans, it's third down! Dude, let's go. No way. No way. He caught... No! No! Come on! Oh, come, there's no way! Oh my god, dude. That can't happen. That cannot happen. That cannot happen. How did he catch that? How did he catch that? Adam Madison, um, surprise team in the SEC. Teams that will take a step back. Uh, I hope we're a surprise team. <laughs> um, surprise team. 3 nothing first quarter. I'd take that in the first quarter, honestly. Bad as that might sound, I'd take it. Hold on one second. to resume action here in the second quarter and we've got a tight ball game. Texas A&M has a three-point lead. Here comes the pressure. Going long. No. Pick it. Let's go! Cam Smith! Take it all the way back. Take it. Go! Let's go, Cam Smith! Let's go! Let's go! What a way to start the quarter! Let's freaking go. How about some coverage down the field? How about the secondary? Hey, let's go. Let's freaking go, Cam Smith. Let's go. Hell yeah, it's a big play. Hell a big play. Yeah, I think Florida takes a step back. I mean, as much as they lost, I don't think it'll be a massive step back, but it'll be a step back. What in God's green earth was the play call there? What was that play call? I mean, listen, Florida still has athletes. And if Emory Jones pans out, I mean, they're going to be a good team. But they lost generational talent. Uh, Yeah. Surprise team. I mean, would you call A&M? I don't think so, probably, right? Go. Go. Jaheim Bell with the carry. How about that? Third down now. They need to get it down to the 33. Come on, need to convert. Don't be scared to go downfield. You gotta convert. You gotta convert this. No, did we jump? I thought they jumped. Oh God. Really? Come on, boys. How loud can it be? How loud can it be? I, pretty damn loud, right? That's a loud ass place. Oh God. Nope, it's not it. Nope. <sighs> Lucky didn't get picked. Oh, I thought he overthrew him off the jump. I couldn't really tell. Well, let's get a pick from Cam Smith and do nothing with it. That's unfortunate. Can he pin him? Nope, because the punting in this game is stupid. 
Because the punting in this game is ridiculous. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Get there. There you go. Nice, 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 nice. You think Ole Miss takes a step back? I mean, they weren't great last year, though. So, I mean... Yeah, Aaron Hodges, Florida's got to get better defensively. I think offensively, you know, with Mullen, I think they'll they'll do enough. There you go, nice, nice, nice. Dude, Watermeyer is killing us. He's killing us. That tight end's killing us, man. That tight end is killing us. From their own 39 yard line, it's first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Mm hmm. Come on, come on, D. Stop him. Somebody. Plug a hole. Plug a hole, bro. Yeah, Aaron Hodges, if they're bad on defense again, Graham or Grantham is, is gone. Todd Grantham is gone. You could have argued he should have been gone after last year. Bad as they were. Get there. So, oh, come on. You had him. Makes it out to about the 36. Uh, Eric Reese, I will confirm nor deny your question. There are some things I want to keep out of the out of, out of the chat, but I will confirm nor deny your question, Eric Reese. Get there. There you go. God, I mean, Spiller just throws the first one off. Just throws the first one off. Boop. I'm mean, look at this. Just done. Darius Rush. Nope. Thank God Debo Williams is there. Got to have it. Come on, you got to have it right here, bro. What have they, they converted? Two on this drive alone? Have they converted two on this drive alone? No, no way. Oh, my God. They are making insane catches. Bro. Yeah, no, Eric Reese, you're good, bro. Just, uh, I mean, just people are kind of wild. I mean, you know. Whatever. Whatever. Confirm nor tonight. <laughs> Sit dog nine. Eric Reese was asking about my address, basically, like where I live around Columbia. Um, so, you know. I you know, I love all of you, but I I'd I'd rather not my, my like personal street address and all that, like be on social media and all that. That's why like it's not like I like I have my business card, just not oh my god. It's not on there and all that stuff. Dude. I mean, A&M is just like grown man mossing us. They're grown manning us right now. They are grown manning us. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that block. Look at that block. I mean, look at that block, dude. All right, you got to score on this drive. You have to score on this drive. Got to find a way to score on this drive, man. And he converts the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Tigers come into today's game ranked eighth in the land, and we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for LSU, they're looking to win their third straight. The Tigers have the lead, twenty to ten. That drive was brutal because you had them stopped a couple of times. Small has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Aaron Hodges every year, the offensive line gets hyped. Is it valid this year? 
I mean, listen, I think the offensive line is good. When you bring back four or five starters from a line that paved the way for a 1,000-yard rusher, your line doesn't suck. But do we have five stars all across the offensive line? No. Are we the best line in the SEC? No. So, I mean, I'm not hyping our line up to be, like, the best. Oh, he I thought he wasn't in bounds? Can we review? Maybe not. I don't know. From their own 28 yard line. It's second down. Hudson Seabrook, how surprised would you be if we went to the playoffs this year? Like we all just had no idea how good they were to the end of the field. I, I Hudson, I'd be I'd be like totally shocked. Hudson, I'd be what's the uh what's the national lampoon Christmas vacation quote? Eddie, I I, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be more surprised if I woke up with my with my head sewn to the floor. Right? Is that what it is? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, that's, yeah. I'd, I'd be pretty surprised, yeah. Oh, gosh. Dusty Rhodes says Juju about to call some havoc. Beamer ball. I just yeah, dude. I I mean, I all we're hearing from Juju, man. I'm hearing stuff from Juju as well, dude. Yeah, I, I think Juju is going to be a stud. I mean, I, you know, he's a true freshman. How much are you going to get out of him? But yeah, I mean, I'm hearing you're hearing a lot of good stuff about Juju McDowell. So who knows, man? Who knows? Defense has got to keep us in it here. They got to keep us in it. They got to keep us in it. Got to keep us in it. Have to keep us in it. Sit dog nine says I see them as a no chance game. Honestly, you talking about A and M because I mean I'd agree with you. I I I have I have no confidence against A and M. No, like literally zero. I mean at this point I don't believe we can beat Texas A and M till it happens. Uh, yes, Dusty Rhodes. I hit the vacation Christmas vacation quote. Yes, I love that movie. We we watch. My, me, my family, like, we watch that, like, every every holiday season. Good God. I mean, this is – the tight ends, man. We're getting destroyed by the tight ends. We are getting killed by the tight ends. I mean, who's covering the tight ends? <laughs> Who is covering the tight ends? Cameron Blasting game, why'd they run a draw? Well, it was fourth and – or third and – 14, I guess we didn't want to go downfield. I don't know. I don't know, man. Tight ends are just killing us. No way. I mean, tight. Fullback, tight end. I mean, look at this. What? I mean, who are these dudes? Adam Madison, I will not pick South Carolina to beat A&M. Until we either do or it is just so blatantly obvious that we are that much better than Texas A&M that I'll pick it. And I don't I don't know when that point would happen anytime soon because A&M is pretty damn good. So. Wow. 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 We're getting diced up now. Oh, my goodness. We are, dude, we're getting manhandled. We are getting flat out manhandled. Like, literally. We're getting man. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. I mean, we, we just got manhandled. Jesus. OVR, hopefully Juju will be A. Sanders 2.0 in the return game. Yeah, we. I would love that. Uh, Rocket Main, Texas looking like a cheat code. Hudson Seabrook, what separates USC from other teams that aren't playoff teams like Arkansas or Tennessee or Kentucky? Uh, I, I mean – Oh, you said how are we going to be a playoff team before them? I mean, it's it's a it's a battle of recruiting, you know what I mean, and having the right head coach. You know, I think when you compare us to, to Arkansas and Tennessee and Kentucky, I mean, I feel like our facilities stack up. If not, they're much better than those schools. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I I feel like our facilities stand on their own, and our our fan base. And please pitch the ball. There we go. Oh, what a babe! Nice run. There we go. You got. You got to score here, bro. You, you got. You got to score here. You cannot go into the freaking half down seventeen nothing. Cannot go into the half down seventeen nothing. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's just all a battle of recruiting and selling your pro <sighs> selling your program and uh, yeah, having the right head coach. I mean, really, really, truly, having the right culture, but being very being tacticians in recruiting and finding the right guys that fit your program and. You know, building from there and going and winning some games and beating some teams, and that's how you build. You put the building blocks together, and all of a sudden you start pulling in better players and better players and better players, and before you know it, you got a really, really good team. So, there you go. Throw the ball. Oh, no. This is look at that. We have thirty nine total yards. Thirty nine yards. We have thirty nine yards. How is that even possible? How is it possible to have thirty nine yards? <laughs> this is bad. I mean, not not that I expected us to win this one. Somebody get there. Cannot let him score again. <laughs> you can't let him score again. <laughs> you can't let him score again. <laughs> We get the ball after half if you're looking for something positive. I mean, are we just not covering the tight end? There wasn't anybody within 10 yards of the guy. I mean, I'm dead serious. Are we not covering him? Like, I mean, I mean, there's nobody even close to him here. Oh, they're going to say his foot was in bounds. They're going to say his foot was in bounds. Yep, they're going to say his foot was in bounds. Well, the good news is Clemson doesn't seem like they're very good in this game, so maybe we can take them down. Dude, what are you doing? Make a stop. Tick, 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 tick. Tick, 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 tick. Here they come. Brought down to the 38 yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Oh, my God. Come on, y'all. He's taken down around the 23-yard line. Come on, y'all. There you go. Who got the sack? Who was it? Was that Birch again? Wow. Birch with three sacks in the first half. I mean, Bur dude, Birch is an animal in this game. I'm telling you. Birch is a freaking animal. Somebody going to cover the tight end? Nope. Just kidding. I mean, what is going on? Why can we not cover the tight end? Why can we not cover the tight end? This is insane. No, don't. Not to say, don't let him get in. Well, we held him to a field goal. Thank God. <laughs> we're, we're down 20 to nothing at half. That's just great. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's check in on the action and eight. And for Iowa State, the upset in the making right now. The Cowboys are out front. Three nothing. Well, if that's 
score holds up, that would be water cooler talk on Monday morning. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. From the Take it back, just somehow. Do something crazy. Do something crazy. No surprises here as we come to the end of the first half. Texas A&M's in front by 20. Well, this is pretty on brand for a South Carolina A&M game, is it not? <laughs> I mean, this is this is pretty on brand for Carolina A&M. It really is. It really is. I mean, Birch has three sacks in the first half, and we're still down twenty to nothing. I mean, and we have a pick. Our offense has just been so bad that our defense has no chance. So much fun. You start with a defensive line, you know it's a pass. You get to fl fly up field as fast as you want to. It's not third and three where you're sitting in a situation where they could run or they could pass, and there's a little bit of doubt in your mind when you're coming. You fly up field, you rush the pass. Everybody knows that the sticks are a little bit further Dude, back. Dude, look at those stats. <laughs> look at those stats. Oh my God. Look at those stats. Wow, this is like scary on brand. This is scary on brand, man. Honestly, honestly, it really is. All right, let's fight. <laughs> let's fight like Gamecocks, damn it. Let's fight like Gamecocks. Go. The BMAC offense. Is it four sacks, Caden? Good God, he has four sacks in the first half. Like, let's start taking some chances, man. Start taking some chances down the field. Like, please. We have 21 passing yards, and all, that came almost all in one pass. Like, those two-yard passes are going to do nothing. I mean, hell, Doty's five for eight, but he's averaging four yards of completion. That's the problem. Go. Go. There you go. Nice run. Nice run. There we go, Kevin. Kevin Harris on the carry. Oh boy, Kevin. Got a baby, Kevin. Dude, we run these these stupid option plays. These stupid option plays. I'm all about a read option, but like whatever that thing is, that's that's dumb, dude. That is a dumb play. And Dylan Wanham didn't block it worth a hell. Didn't block it worth a damn. God, it could have been bad. It could have been bad. See, that's why you run it on first down, though, man. So you're not in third and 13. I mean, maybe you're third and six. And it feels manageable. See, now you got to go five wide. They know you're throwing it. They're sending a Hit him. Oh, let's go! Whoa! Wow! Luke Doty with the improvise. How on God's green... Look at this. Skirt! How did he get that off? How did Amari and Brown know to stop? How on, how did that play just work? How did that play just work? Like, there's no reason that play should have worked. None. I was for sure he was just throwing that in the dirt. Or getting sacked. Go. Look at that. Open up like the Red Sea. Open up like the Red Sea. Freaking go. Cut it loose. Go, Luke. Yeah, go, Luke. Go! Go! Let's go, Luke Doty! Let's go, Luke Doty! Finally uses his legs. Here we go. Let's go, Luke. Hey! Let's go!
Oh! Oh my God, we have life. We have life. Wow. We have life. Let's go. Hell yeah. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Beamer ball. Beamer ball. Beamer ball. Great job by the defense. Let's go. Getting into the backfield and creating issues for this line. So, for the people that are in here, do y'all want to know a funny story, by the way, about Beamer, the, the Beamer ball stuff? I'll be honest with you. When Shane Beamer was hired, right, I mean, I, I knew I wanted to, like, get on merch and, like, promote and, like, you know, get after it. But, you know, we made the All Aboard the Shane Train merch and we made the Welcome Home. Well, we didn't make the Welcome Home merch yet. We waited until he made that a thing. But we made the Shane Storm merch. Like, we made different merch, right? ton of different merch. God, I mean, come on, D. We made a ton of different merch that was like, took like days to make these graphics. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. This Beamer Ball, I made this in five minutes on my phone. Because it's just text, you know? It's just text. I made it in five minutes on my phone. But it just goes to show you sometimes the simplest things are the best things. Because I was just like, hey, Beamer Ball, we got Shane Beamer. I wasn't trying to steal Virginia Tech's slogan, but it's just like, it's just a catchy phrase. It just is, right? So I'm like, why not? Sure enough, I mean, it's been incredible. Just It just fits, man. Beamer ball, it just fits. It just fits. But it's, it again, it just goes to show how, like, the simple things in life, a lot of times those are the things that turn out to be, like, the most amazing things. Like, it was just something that fast, just that quick. I don't know. Kind of just a funny behind-the-scenes story, if you will. Here we go. Nice play. Nice play. Nice play. Nice play. Yep. It's the simple. The, the beauty is in the simplicity. The beauty is truly in the simplicity. Put it to you that way. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. Stop him. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. Our defense just. Travi, I hope Shane Beamer's our coach for the next 20 years, my friend, because I agree with you. That means he's winning a lot of ball games. No. I mean, God. Travi, I'll, t I'll tell you this. I'll, I'll tell you this, Travi. I'll tell you this. You know, things were much different this time last year, and some people's feelings towards, you, towards me were different because of what was going on with, you know, coaching situation. But, dude, I told people, I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't care who the coach is. I just want to win. I hope whoever we have coaching here, I don't care who they are. I hope they're here 20 years. That means he's winning. I don't care, how, you know, who the coach is. Just nothing. No defense. Absolutely none. Just absolutely no defense. God, man. I mean, what is that? Look at – I mean – Nothing. Just nothing. I mean, nobody covering him. Nobody touching him. Aaron Hodges, does Beamer not have any experience giving you pause? What, is, what does that mean, Aaron? I don't, I don't understand the question. Travi, cheers, my friend. Cameron Blasting answers the tight ends are 2017 Gronk esque. B Boy Zesty. Beamer in year three or four, we're going to be a team to worry about. Yeah, I think give Beamer time, let him recruit. I think we're going to be a good ball club. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, for sure. Is anybody else excited to watch college football tomorrow? I'm pretty pumped, honestly. I'm actually pretty pumped. Frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty. I'm gonna be, dude. I'm gonna be tuned in to. I'm gonna be tuned in to Nebraska, Illinois. Like it's like the last football game on planet Earth. 
really get into sync with his wide receiver. Oh, you're saying, Aaron, are you saying, does Beamer not having any experience, like, worry me? I mean, listen, I, Aaron, I'm going into the Shane Beamer era. I fully believe in Beamer. I'm happy we have Beamer. I'm excited for Beamer. But, you know, I said the same thing. No. Will you deflect it? I said the same thing when he was hired, Aaron, I'll tell you this. Is that it's a risk. There's no question it's a risk. I mean, the guy has no head coaching experience. So, it may not work. It's just like anything else in life, right? There's no guarantee. But I think it was the right call. What a snag. What a snag. What a snag. But I think it was the right call. But again, yeah, I mean, I'm not worried necessarily. I'm glad we did it, but... You know, it's a risk. There's no question. It's definitely a risk. But I think any worries we had about that have been taken care of in the preseason. I mean, but again, I mean, you know, that's people ask like, go, Luke, go, go. People ask like, oh, what's Beamer going to be like on game day? Is he going to be aggressive? Are we going to go for it? Is he going to do this? Gonna like the, the, honest, the honest answer is we don't know. Like none of us know. No, nobody knows, right? Because he's never been a head coach. Cordell, what time is Hawaii UCLA? What time is that? From their own 47 yard line. First down. Go. Get up, field. Go. Go, Kevin, go! Take off! No way that D lineman catches him. There is no way that big SOB catches him. Come on. Look at who caught him, dude. Guy had to weigh 300 pounds. How is it? Come on, man. Eight is not getting there. Eight is not catching him. Come on now. Come on, dude. He should have been gone. He should have been gone. Get rid of it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now our offense has finally got life after we're down 20 points. So. Travis says, full agreement, I'm 42. I've lived through some miserable times, good times all my life. Wanted a winner. I bleed garnet and black. Just want to coach here for a very long time. Look at the history. Spurrier was probably our longest coach. Just hope Gamecock Nation can experience a natty in football. Our fan base deserves it. You know, Travis, that would be a good graphic. I might do that. Longest tenured coaches at South Carolina. Because we haven't had many that have been very long. You are very – that's a very good point. Oh, 330 Hawaii and – oh, I'll, I'll definitely cut that one off. Oh, I thought Marshawn had it for a sec. 3.30 Hawaii UCLA. I will definitely cut that on. We'll definitely cut that on. Go. Why was he moving so slow? What just happened there? <laughs> Dude's huffing and puffing. Don't tell me he's out. Nah, he's good. B boy Zesty, do you think Zeb starts if Luke isn't ready? Yeah, I think it's I think it's Zeb Nolan. Go, take it. Oh God, go! Half you have to go for this. You cannot kick a field goal. No, you. Can't. I mean, dude, you're down twenty. Like, what's the point of this? What is the point of that? What's the point of kicking a field goal? I mean, I don't, I don't love that. I don't love that. I just, I mean, you're, you're down twenty anyways. What good does a? You're still down three scores. What good does a field goal do? Aaron Hodges. I'll say if Clemson made a grad assistant the starter, we'd be laughing our ass off. Well. Well, Aaron, we just are, we are we are, man. We are where we are. But it's not like we're making a grad assistant a starter for the entire year, you know. I mean, it's one game, bro. While we breathe, we hope indeed. So they have they have scored every possession except one and we got a pick. Every other possession they've scored in some capacity. So that means that means we have to get a turnover. <laughs> if we don't get a turnover, they're going to score. Okay, great. That's awesome. That's awesome. 
Yeah, that was a. Mu I, I I didn't want to say it, but that 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 was a must champ call. That that felt that felt very must champ. That reminded me of like Tennessee last year, or just any game really. Or we're, we're we're down a certain amount, we're kicking a field goal, and it's just like, coach, like why, coach? Why are we doing that? Like why are we doing that, coach? I'm trying to understand you, coach. Gain of yards on that play. Great pass. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. It was, yeah, Florida game. Was, ugh. <clears throat> Somebody get him. Somebody just. Get there. Somebody get there. And he carries the ball for a nice gain. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 35. I mean, they're just they're just methodically just I mean they're they're they are truly like Man, like just move, just moving us. They are taking us and moving us where they want us to go. Like we, they're methodically just moving us around. You know what I mean? Just methodically moving us. Like no big deal. Like here, just you slide over this way. He gets out to about the twenty-five yard line. <laughs> P boys has the far D plays like that. This, this like this this year. I'm gonna pull my hair out, bro. I'm more so far off it. Like, dude, I can. Let me ask you guys this: Would you rather watch a? Would you rather watch your favorite team have a great offense and a bad defense, or a great defense and a bad offense? I'd rather watch a great offense and a bad defense because at least it's entertaining. At, look at Ole Miss last year, but man, when you're bad on offense, God, it is miserable, bro. B Boy Zesty says great defense, bro. I'd so much rather be good on offense. Dude, at least, when, again, it's fun when you're scoring. Scoring is fun. There's nothing fun about a 17-14 to 14 game. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I, I just, I if we're going to lose, I'd rather it be fun to watch. <laughs> I mean, and again, that's what Lane Kiffin did. That is what Lane Kiffin did with Ole Miss. He made it, they weren't great last year, but damn it, they were entertaining. They were very entertaining. Somebody stop him. Taken down right around the 14 yard line. Game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. B Boys SC says D wins championships, have a great D and be okay. I'm assuming you meant offensively. Well, I'll tell you this though, man. You say defense wins championships, and I mean, I totally understand that sentiment, but bro, in this day and age of college football, you have to score, bro. You, you just, you just, you just have to score. You just have to score. Um. Again, the days of winning games 17 14, 20 to 17, 23 to 20, those are over, man. Th those, those are over. You're not winning games that way anymore. Y you have to score points. And we have to get a stop here. Like, we have to get a stop here. No way he can get the first down. I was about to freaking say, bro. I was about to say. One should be makeable. But, see, that's why kicking that field goal was pointless. Because they, they just got it back. I mean, what difference does it make? Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Hoosiers came into the game ranked 11. And now they're waiting to Wow, look at Ohio. When did it? All right, when did Indiana get good at football? Can somebody explain that to me? The Buckeyes take it by three. When did Indiana get good at football? Seriously. Like, 
How in the world is Indiana so good at football? Indiana is not a football school. That is, like, mind-blowing to me that Indiana is that good at football. It's crazy. It is absolutely crazy to me. Okay. Go, Luke. Yep, never mind. This 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 one's pretty brutal. This one is pretty brutal. I mean, unfortunately, though, guys, this is kind of what I expect in real life. I, I don't I don't think we're gonna hang with A and M. I I think I've got thirty seven to twenty as the final, which I mean, hell, this this game is kind of on pace for that. Pretty close. So. Scramble. And he takes off. And go. Tackle made at the 24 yard line. That'll bring up 36. Throw it. Throw it. <sighs> Dude, and I feel like you had him open. I, I feel like you had him open. Brandon Parnell says, believe six and six, a good record for the year. If we can force turnovers of defense and have success with the offense, we should be good to go. By the way, love the content you put out. You talk the real talk. I appreciate it, Brandon. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate the love for real. Yeah, I mean, hey, you're right. If if we uh if we force turnovers and have a good offense, there's a good chance we have a good team. Yeah, you're right. That is a recipe for success, my friend. That is a recipe for success. B-Boy's Esty, but you couldn't score 40 against Bama or LSU either. I mean, yeah, you've got to have athletes on defense, right? You, you have to. You just have to have a you just have to have athletes on defense, but you're not going to hold teams to you're not you're just not going to hold teams down like you used to. You know what I mean? There you go, swarming defense. The hell with you, Isaiah Spiller. The hell with you. Leland, yeah, I can't wait till next Saturday night, man. It's crazy. Eight days. Isn't that wild? One more Saturday. That's it. One more. Tomorrow's the last Saturday without Gamecock football for quite a while. So, what's Spiller about to hit 100? Yep, still about to hit 100. Keith, I got Zeb Nolan starting at quarterback, Keith. I think Zeb Nolan's going to start at QB. Make him pay for throwing on third and two. Make a tackle. No. Oh, come on, he didn't get there. Come on, now. He was not there. Man, he was not there. Ah, Justin Langford says, darn, this game, it's it's silly. Would rather see you playing Chris. Well, Justin, you'd rather see me play because, again, I mean, it, this this is why, though, honestly, the simulations are great because they're so random. If I play, we're just going to win every game. Um, David Barnes, got to get the truffle butter on your steak at Halls. Don't let Nicki Minaj scare you. <laughs> it's life-changing. Oh, my God. Rob Youngson, even if I challenged it, they wouldn't They wouldn't overturn that. But B-Boy Zest, you don't understand how they're saying Tank Bigsby's better than Kevin. Well, B-Boy, I've talked about this a lot. It's just, honestly, the reason that Tank gets more love than Kevin, and it's it's I'm not saying it's right, but I think this is why. Kevin is a closed off to himself lunch pail type of player. Not a sexy, flashy back, and Tank is. And people like that. And, I mean, again, I'm not saying that's right, but I, I think that's the re that's one of the big reasons. Yeah, Eastern Illinois does play tomorrow. Yeah, EIU does play tomorrow. I think it's like 6 o'clock on ESPN+. Plus. So, if you do want to get a look at them, 
6 o'clock ESPN Plus they play. He's under pressure. I'll probably tune into that. Somebody get there. And they make the stop around the nine yard line. Hezekiah Jones on the catch. That makes it fourth and four. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Three. And he's taken down at the 28. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. They go with a screen here in the half Go, go, babe, go, babe. He's Boy, Kevin, keep fighting, Kevin. B-Boy Zesty, hopefully ranked mid-pack or higher in the offense this year in the SEC. Yeah, I mean, I hope so. Yeah, I mean, I, I think the offense is going to take a, take a step forward with an athletic quarterback. I really do. I really, really do. Keith says, Kevin is what NFL teams love. If he has a similar year as last, he will go much higher than Tank. I'm not disagreeing with you, Keith, but, again, we're talking about writers and people that pick the preseason team. Who gives a damn? Like, you know, I mean, I, I understand it, but, like, I don't give a damn what somebody says about Kevin. Like, he's a good football player. I'm glad we have him. Whatever. I mean, if somebody wants to put Tank or Isaiah Spiller first team and Kevin second, I, bro, it, it don't even bother me. Like, to hell with it. I don't give a damn. It, it is what it is. I think we all know if, if Kevin Harris – if Kevin Harris played for Alabama, he'd be first team. I mean, there's just no question. He would he would be first team. So, you know, that there's there's no there's no secret, right? That is the one thing Muschamp said that I agreed with when he said the whole it just means more. Well, sometimes it just means more depending on what your logo is. I mean, he really hit the nail on the head, man, like I mean, the SEC is going to take care of their top teams. They just are. You know what I mean? Like, so it is what it is. But it's something you just can't worry about. We just we just got to go play ball. That's it. We just go play ball and produce and all that good stuff. Oh, and that's your ball game. I mean, that oh, the ball game's already settled. But that that's truly your ball game. That's it. Yep, that's it. Just couldn't do a darn thing on offense. I mean, just not even. I don't know where the hell that ball was going. I truly don't know where the hell that ball was going. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, it's unfortunate. Second and six. Ball on the 47 yard line. How about it, D? Why not a big stop one more time? Well, they're trying to run the clock out. They're trying to run the clock out. Hey, how about the defense with a stop? Wow. Jalen Dick. You know what's funny about this simulation? I swear to you, every other game, Jalen Dickerson's dreads are like on and off. Every other game. I don't know. I, like, I'm not touching. I'm not messing with anything on the rosters. Every other game, his dreads are on and off. Brandon Parnell will take to have a shot at beating Georgia, Clemson, Georgia, Kentucky, and Clemson this year. Well, I mean, Georgia and Clemson, the key to a huge upset is you've got to play your A game and hope that they're not playing their best game and you force turnovers, similar to 2019 when you beat Georgia. 
You got to hope for some turnovers, some opportunistic, timely turnovers, you know, points off turnovers. That's what keeps a team in a game. Kentucky, I mean, yeah, you need to win the turnover margin. And the, I mean, but I, I think that's much more of a toss-up. You know, I think, I think Georgia and Clemson are long shots. I view Kentucky as a toss-up. So, you know, win the line of scrimmage. Run the ball, stop, or yeah, run the ball, stop the run. I mean, it's, you know, kind of just the, the basic things, man. Luke Doty, Luke Doty will be a huge key in that game. Quarterback play overall will be a huge key. So. Jalen Brooks, was that his first catch? Because the defender doesn't have a great play on the ball unless it's underthrown. It's all based on connection between the quarterback and his receivers. Ooh, man. The game packs use their second timeout. I think Look at us taking timeouts. We we want that touchdown. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Throw it. Just go. What? What was that? Keith, if you're right about Zeb week one, how do you feel about it? Um, I mean, it's, it feels crazy, Keith, but I totally understand why Beamer and Satterfield will most likely do it. Um, go with the steady hand. A guy that's actually started a Power 5 game before and that will not, you know, succumb to the pressures of a season opener and a, and a program opener for Shane Beamer and, you know, just somebody that can run the offense. I mean, I, that's, you know. So I feel fine. I get it. I feel fine with it, you know. I think we should be able to have success no matter what, like offensively, if I put it that way. So, yeah, I think we should be able to have success either way. Are we going to get a cheap touchdown here? Look at this. Oh, my God. I, th I thought that was a TD, and then I thought it was picked. <laughs> Mixed emotions there. Mixed emotions. Mixed emotions. Go. I'd love to see us get a touchdown. Just one more. First and ten. Ball on the nineteen. <sighs> oh, Luke. Go, babe. Go, Luke! Hey! Wow, we didn't quit fighting. We didn't quit fighting. We did not quit fighting. How about Luke Doty? How about Luke Doty? How about my damn prediction in the regular season being damn near exactly what's happening? Huh? I picked 37 to 20. Go. Hey, boom. Bro, I picked 37 to 20 in the regular season. It is now 33 to 18. I'm pretty close. I'm pretty close. What on God's green earth just happened? What was that? Well, that's all she wrote, folks. That's all she wrote. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can That's put together true. something a little more promising here. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The game did we really just play take play a timeout? Did, did we? <laughs> we just want to see him knee it one more time. You know what? Y'all got to knee it one more time. One more time. Now, now let me ask y'all something, though. Let me ask y'all something now. Would you take... A 15-point loss to a and I, I Honestly, honestly, I think I would. I, I hate to say that, but, like, bro, as bad as we played against them, and how is the kicker the player of the game? What? The kicker is the player of the game? Really? How is the kicker the player of the game? 
I mean, he did go four for four. He did have 19 points total, I think, which is like insanity. I mean, dude, a 15-point loss to A&M, like, I, I hate to say that, like, oh, that's so great, but, like, bro, as bad as we've been against A&M, like, I t- basically you're saying would you take a two-touchdown loss? I mean, we'd probably cover the spread. I'll be honest with you, we'd probably cover the spread. I hate to say that, but we probably would. They just dominated us offensively. Just couldn't stop them on defense. Look at this. They got to the red zone seven times. Seven. They kicked four field goals. Incredible. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of this game. Set it up for next. the next game, which will be Sunday. Sunday night. Old Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Two TD loss and forfeit the game. Ain't nobody forfeiting no game. Look at this stat. Look at the look at the time of possession. Look at the TOP. Like good god. Good lord. The headline says Gamecocks are humbled after a 33-18 loss in college stage. Like bro, we weren't humble before? What do you mean? We were humble before? All right, guys. Well, this is Simmons. I'm going to take a piss real quick. I'll be right back because we got to get to the Florida game. Sometimes that happens, and I don't know why. Sometimes that happens, and I don't know why. <laughs> this is, we've, we've been nothing but humble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get through the bye week. That's a good point. We only we, we we won the second half technically. We did we technically did win the second half. Very good point. Like the way you think. Most certainly like the way you think. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Sincerely. Hope y'all having a great Friday night. We're about to wrap it up here. 
Just want to get this Florida matchup pulled up so we have the graphic for Sunday night. Just want to get this pulled up. Hatred renewed. Travi, have a great weekend. Appreciate you. God, I tell you this, man. I just can't imagine if Luke Doty's stats at this point were two touchdowns and six interceptions. Like, I, I, I'd have a hard time living with that. I'd have a very hard time living with that. So, all right, this is who we'll take on Sunday. Florida, six and two. We will take on the Gators Sunday night at 7 o'clock. Sunday night at 7 o'clock, we'll take on Florida. Um, yeah, and we'll do that. So, again, guys, appreciate you all tuning in. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your Friday night. Have a great weekend, by the way. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your last weekend without Gamecocks football, right? That feels good to say, but relax, hang out with the family, Call a friend, hang out with them, do whatever you got to do. Because, of course, hey, starting next weekend and for the foreseeable future, we are after it every single Saturday. Folks, again, thank you all so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Um, again, next stream, Sunday night, 7 o'clock, podcast, Daily Crow rolls all week. But, again, guys,